Welcome back to Del Mar. You know, health and safety is a major concern for the summer here at the track, and not just for the people watching the racing. The racetrack is doing more than ever to try to ensure that the horses are safe when they run and work out. Let's get to ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens, who is trackside. Jared, can you take us through all the things that Del Mar is doing to ensure horse safety? Absolutely, Virginia. You know, by the time the horses reach that starting gate way down in the distance, they've already gone through a handful of inspections and checkups every day to make sure they are healthy enough to run. Track organizers and vets here at Del Mar tell me nothing is more important to them than keeping these animals healthy. Hours before the first race, as horses do warm-up laps on the track, veterinarians like Alina Vale are also hard at work. We palpate their legs, we flex their limbs, we watch them trot to make sure there's no asymmetry or lameness in the way they're moving. Vale is part of a growing team of vets on site every day. I like to look at their eye. Are they bright and alert? Are they ready to do their job? The vets watch morning workouts, look at the horses in the stables, keep track of them before races in the paddock and at the starting line, and watch them after the race ends. We're looking for minor injuries before they become major injuries. That helps Del Mar prevent the worst moment in sports, when a horse has to be put down during a race. As recently as 2015, equine deaths at Del Mar hit double digits, but a series of changes brought numbers way down to just three in 2018, two in 2019, and one last year. According to the Equine Injury Database, Del Mar is now considered the safest track in North America. We're t just spending a lot more time looking at each horse and uh, before they got here and, and looking at them very carefully when they're here. Track CEO Joe Harper says the extra vets help, but they also needed to make physical changes to the track. After 2016, Del Mar spent millions on a new surface to make it safer. That involved better cushion, uh, different soil, uh, increasing the bank angle on the turns to eliminate the the stress on horses' legs. All that helped, but Del Mar still needed to change the culture among trainers, getting them to buy in to a more cautious approach. Harper says they're on the right track, but the race is far from over. And I think uh, the more this industry realizes just how important it is to keep these horses as healthy as possible, the better we're going to be. At another thing they do, they actually have the pharmacy here on site at Del Mar. That's to make sure that the only people that give horses any kind of medicine are licensed, trained veterinarians so that the horses only get the medicine they need. Now, both Harper and Vale told me no one loves these horses more than the trainers and the jockeys and the people here at the racetrack. It is their mission to keep them all healthy and safe, make sure that when they run on this track, nothing goes wrong. Live at Del Mar, Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News.